Mazda has always been a niche brand with a much smaller product line than Honda, Toyota, and Nissan. But even with their limited selection of vehicles, they've always seemed to make a big splash in one way or another. When it was announced that Mazda was developing a rear-wheel drive based platform for future luxury cars, it signaled a major shift in the brand's history, as they were leaving the mainstream market behind to take on Lexus, Acura, Genesis, and possibly even BMW as well. Now with the CX-70 and CX-90, Mazda is making their presence known with upscale SUVs that have the personalities, capabilities, and performance not before seen from this Japanese manufacturer in the modern age. So here are four reasons why you should buy a 2025 Mazda CX-70. We've often looked to Acura, Infiniti, and Lexus as being the Japanese luxury brands that undercut European rivals when it pertains to price and value. This decade has ushered in more sensible alternatives that offer the same level of refinement and quality at a fraction of the cost, and Mazda now has to be put on that list as well. While not considered a luxury manufacturer per se, there's qualities and attributes that buyers with expensive tastes may find very appealing. On higher trims for the CX-70, you're greeted by heated and ventilated leather trim seats, which sets a tone for the overall driving environment. Soft touch materials for the dashboard and door panels further elevates your experience, exuding a subtle sense of sophistication. But best of all, you have both a tech-focused and tactile layout that so many car makers have moved away from in recent years. In front of you is a full digital gauge cluster with limited customizability. Yet we think some car shoppers will appreciate the simplicity rather than having the most in-depth display at their fingertips. Available is a head-up display with traffic sign recognition, further encouraging you to keep your eyes on the road ahead. Then as you make your way over to the infotainment system, Mazda addressed the one criticism that's held the brand back, and that is integrating a touchscreen, which can only be used when you pair your smartphone to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Otherwise, you'll still be using the buttons and dials found on the center console to scroll through different menus and settings that are embedded on the screen. Getting overlooked will be the physical buttons and dials found beneath the screen for your climate control settings, which is almost unheard of in this segment. Ultimately, this SUV's luxurious nature could be compared to a BMW X5, but you're not spending $70,000 to receive a well-equipped CX-70. The all-new CX-70 has already been coined as being a two-row version of a CX-90. And while it's undeniably true, the most recent addition to Mazda's lineup is for a slightly different consumer demographic. Utilizing the same engines under the hood and having pretty much an identical interior, the one difference between the CX-70 and CX-90 is the exterior design. Immediately drawing your attention is the lack of chrome accents, which has been replaced with black chrome for a lower profile appearance. Matched with a mesh grille and a more aggressive front bumper, the CX-70 appears ready and capable while simultaneously being dynamic in nature. Unlike its third row companion, this SUV arrives from the factory with a retuned transmission and engine, providing crisper gear shifts and less lag under heavy accelerations, which becomes noticeable almost immediately. And this software update will be made available to CX-90 owners very soon. Then as you make your way around to the back, the only cosmetic feature that distinguishes this SUV from the CX-90 will be the mesh molding for the bumper that adds a symmetrical look to the overall design of this vehicle. Some may claim Mazda didn't do enough to give the CX-70 its own unique value proposition. However, you could look at both SUVs as being complementary pieces within the lineup. At the heart and soul of what makes Mazda's latest SUV so enticing is what's found under the hood. For 2025, you have a 3.3-liter turbocharged inline six-cylinder engine, which for our model produced 340 horsepower and 369 pounds of torque, whereas non-turbo S trims receive 280 horsepower and 332 pounds of torque. 
This powertrain is also paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission that, as just mentioned earlier, is quicker to respond than what's currently experienced by CX-90 owners. Despite the lack of adaptive dampers, the CX-70 isn't one-dimensional, where its 6-second 0-60 time is all this SUV is known for. In fact, the firm steering feel and stiffened chassis makes this vehicle rather agile and maneuverable considering its size and weight. Although, we think Mazda could go one step further with the handling for a sportier driving experience. In normal day-to-day -day driving, the CX-70 is rather comfortable, exhibiting its luxury side which makes it a great option as a family hauler. If the inline 6 doesn't impress you, Mazda also offers a plug-in hybrid variant with a 2.5 liter 4 cylinder engine, producing 323 horsepower and 369 pound foot of torque, with an all electric range of 26 miles. Better yet, this SUV also qualifies for the federal tax credits, which would interest buyers looking to be frugal. Either way, you can't go wrong with either powertrain, as performance wise, they're on par with others in this segment. And more importantly, for the full gas powered motor, the inline 6 brings a nice sound and character that can only be replicated by BMW. In today's automotive world, it's uncommon to find a vehicle in any market that challenges the status quo. The Genesis GV80 is one SUV that comes to mind as being a poor man's Bentley Bentayga. But within the confines of spending less than $100,000 for your dream daily driver, the Mazda CX-70 defies the logical decision making of choosing a BMW X5 if you want both luxury and performance all in one package. In fact, the CX-70 achieves the same goals that the X5 has, but you could be spending less than 50 grand at the end of the day. You could make the case that BMW's B58 inline 6 cylinder engine and iDrive user interface warrants the hefty price tag and that Mazda can't compete in regards to brand recognition. However, if you put aside the brand snobbery, you'll realize that the CX-70 from top to bottom makes a lot of sense, not only financially speaking, but also amongst its domestic rivals is the more fun choice when compared to the Lexus RX350 and Infiniti QX60, giving buyers the best of both worlds that only a handful of competitors can provide. We hope you enjoyed this quick buyer's guide for the 2025 Mazda CX-70. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you're interested in buying a CX-70 or any other mid-size crossover, make sure to check out our full reviews to help you find your next vehicle. And thanks for watching.